Tallulah, the Tooth Fairy CEO. Written by Dr. Tamara Pizzoli. Pictures by Federico Fabiani. Tallulah the Tooth Fairy has been in the tooth business for as long as she can remember. She truly loves her work. That's because looking after children's pearly whites is more than just Tallulah's job. It is her career. Tallulah's passion for teeth led her to start a company called Teeth Titans Incorporated. Now it's the largest tooth collection organization on the planet, and she's the CEO, or Chief Executive Officer. Later, she founded the National Association for the Appreciation and Care of Primary Teeth, also known as the NAACP T. Like any notable mogul, Tallulah finds she is most productive when she strikes a healthy balance between the three P's, her passion, her purpose, and what pays. Thus, Tallulah adheres to a strict schedule that keeps her both busy and fulfilled. On Monday mornings, she has coffee or tea with no sugar. It'll rot your teeth. And then a quick workout session. Wednesday mornings are reserved for a chat with her therapist. So when did the obsession with teeth begin? I like to think of it as more of a calling. Tuesdays and Thursday mornings are dedicated to yoga, Pilates, and errands. Friday mornings are for visiting museums. She finds exhibitions about teeth to be particularly fascinating. Each afternoon is dedicated to training other tooth fairies. What? You're not surprised, are you? Well, of course there's more than one tooth fairy. There are way too many lost teeth in the world for just one fairy to manage. Tallulah is a tooth fairy after all. She's not Santa Claus, though she did once have lunch with Santa's lovely wife, Charlene. Excuse me, Sam, could you have another Irish coffee, please? I just became swamped with all the work, so I had to hire additional fairies. Sure, I'm in it for the teeth. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. But the greatest satisfaction is knowing that I'm providing a service to children around the world. Each and every fairy is trained by me. I oversee all the hiring. With such an effective recruiting strategy, prospective tooth fairies sign up in droves. Tooth fairy recruitment event, question you must get, but are not obliged to answer. How does the tooth fairy get in the house? What do you do with the teeth? How are you notified when a tooth is lost? The answer to these questions and more are in the Top Secret Teeth Titans Incorporated Employment Manual, to which you will have to complete access to if you join our team. Each evening, after an early dinner and a bit of relaxing, Tallulah begins her rounds as head tooth fairy. Sure, she can afford to sit around counting teeth and money, but nothing gives Tallulah quite the same thrill as sliding a shiny tooth out from under a child's pillow and inserting something gleaming and jingly or crisp and easily folded in exchange. So that's just what she does, night after night. Most nights are pretty routine, but not all of them. One evening, something unusual occurred. Tallulah had gone about her routine and was prepared to make her last stop at the home of Billard Birchall. When she slid her hand underneath the boy's pillow, what she found was not at all a treasure of a tooth, but a note written by the boy himself. Dear Tooth Fairy, I had a tooth to give you, but I lost it. I hope you'll understand. Sincerely, Ballard. Tallulah, the tooth fairy, studied the note for a moment, then stared. This looks nothing like me. Why do they always make me so tiny? As it was her first time finding a note in place of a tooth, Tallulah pulled out her Teeth Titans Incorporated Employee Manual for reference, but she quickly remembered there was no information pertaining to what to do in the case of a lost tooth. 
not just a wiggly tooth that fell out, but a tooth that was truly lost. Though she'd written the manual herself, Tallulah hadn't made provisions for such a rare occurrence. She had a decision to make and quick. Tallulah called an emergency meeting with her board of directors. These seven tooth fairies were the best of the best in her company. She could rely on them for sound advice and direction on how to best address the dilemma. In all my years as a professional tooth fairy, Tallulah began, I have never had this occur. I am truly stumped and would like your thoughts. A lengthy discussion ensued. Leave a note that says, sorry kid, the proof's in the tooth. He has to learn responsibility. Well, no tooth is better than a rotten tooth. I think we should remit partial payment for rotten teeth or no payment at all. It was thoughtful of him to leave a note. Oh, raise your hand if you've never lost anything. While we're on the subject of unusual circumstances, should we be giving extra for gold teeth? Tallulah, I'd like to discuss the lack of diversity on this board. Maybe next week, Tom. Late that night, once Tallulah had listened to all the opinions given and reached a decision, she returned to Ballard's bedside to leave him a note of her own and a little something extra. Dear Ballard, everyone misplaces things sometimes. Here's hoping you'll find your tooth. Next time, store your lost tooth in this patented Teeth Titans Incorporated Tooth Compartment Lanyard. It retails for $9.95 and is available on my website. But this one is my gift to you. See you soon. Tallulah, the Tooth Fairy CEO. The Tooth Fairy. P.S. Now you know why I wear the teeth I collect. They're easier to keep track of that way. Mom! Called Ballard. You'll never believe this! He hopped out of bed and ran to his mom to show her both the letter and the photo of the tooth fairy. And inside the Teeth Titans Incorporated Tooth Compartment lanyard was one more surprise from Tallulah, the tooth fairy CEO, the shiniest gold coin you ever did see.